Welcome to Grandiloquent Cinema Critiques with Clayton Drew. My name is Brian Stevens, and with me today is Clayton Drew. Hi, Brian. Today we're going to be reviewing I Love You, Man. Clayton, I love you, man. I love you too, man. Was it a good movie? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was pretty funny. I just can't believe the guy had no friends starting out. Why do you think he didn't have any, any friends starting out? I don't know, man. It was just like, I guess he got caught up in his life and he trying to get, he was just getting married. He had a girl. He spent all his time on this girl. And all his friends I saw in there, he, he joust with. And that was it. What do you think this movie says about the state of male fr friendship in America? It could be fun and it could be bad at the same time because you both are after the same thing sometimes and that cross butts heads and you guys are best friends. If you guys are, you should be able to get over it, you know? If not... What are some of the funny parts of the movie that you liked? The Ben Affleck guy going slap in the bass, slap in the bass, slap in the bass. And his girl wife says, stop it. And he stops it for a second and goes, slap in the bass, slap in the bass. And then one, and another part was when they're at the Rush concert and these two, these best friends are just at each other's face and this girl, he asks if he brings the girl because they're supposed to watch HBO, but they don't. And so he's, she's there at the Rush concert. He doesn't even talk to her at all, she says in the whole thing. They're all like, they're trying to practice their things at the concert and he's like licking his fake air guitar and everything. And then the guy that don't clean up his dog's poop, a lot of people step in him, that was pretty funny. <laughs> and then, then when um, the Alpha Rago guy, had him in a chokehold. He's like, the Hulk has seen a headlock. <laughs> that was pretty funny. He called him the Hulk the whole movie. It was pretty funny. <clears throat> now, what did you th think of the station? Do you think that's plausible for a guy to have a station? It's his cave. He can do whatever he wants, you know? If he wants to do that, he can and do it, <laughs> you know? Just, I don't care. I'm not doing it. I might... I, 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 wouldn't do it out in the open unless I had every, I'd go through all these procedures and everything. It would be crazy. I would, that'd be just crazy to have a little station like that. <laughs> like, dude, what is that? <laughs> now, does Rush really rock? The one song that they were singing in there, because I really haven't heard much of Rush, but the one that they sang in there sounded pretty good, because like me, me, my, you know? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Tom Sawyer. Yeah, Tom Sawyer, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That that one's pretty good. So that song rocked. They, they, they made that song rock. Cool. What did you think when they started playing in the band together? Did you think that was a good bonding moment in the film? Did you Oh yeah, to oh yeah, oh yeah. It's two people sharing the same passion, you know? One playing the guitar, the other said, I got experience in bass. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> Fist pumping it. The Lonely Island guy was in there. I almost forgot. He was hilarious. Talking about mandates. He hooked him up with Elmo. <laughs> hey, you're talking about Andy Samberg? Is that his name? Yeah, that's his name. I don't know. He had curly hair. Yeah. What did you think of his performance? Was it good? Yeah, it was. It was parts that he had. It was funny. I liked him. He, he was like, come on, boy. I'm barely touching him. Barely touching it. <laughs> I, I don't know if he was playing a gay role or not, but... He, he, they made it seem like he was almost. Yeah, I think he was gay. I think that was. I know. Do you not think that it came off effectively? Not as well, but in in a way, it did. What could they have done to make him more overtly gay? I don't know. I think they did a great job. Do you think it pr portrayed homosexuality in a good light or poorly? Eh, it, it's still whatever. You know, he, he is who he is. You know, I I don't think he really is because. I know him and some of the songs he sings, but that'd be way crazy. But it would be funny at the same time, you know? Like, that's a mind blower. Like, would never guess that. Would you have guessed it? I wouldn't have. Oh, I wouldn't have. All <laughs> right, I love you, man. Let's get, let's, let's hear it, Clayton. How many winks? Four? And a half. Four and a half winks. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next week on Grandiloquent Cinema Critiques with Clayton Drew when Clayton reviews Gone with the Wind.